Roger Federer, seven times the champion and arguably the greatest player of all time, humbled by the world number 116. Sergei Stakovsky of Ukraine is a new name to most, but his victory came with a wonderful display of old-fashioned serve and volley tennis. Federer, dismissed before the quarterfinals for the first time in 37 Grand Slam tournaments, had no answer. Well, what do you do after something like this? It's like you, uh, what do you do? You do the 24 hour rule, you know, you don't panic at this point, that's clear. And uh, just go back to work and come back stronger, really. It was all good news for Andy Murray, who eased into the third round with a straight sets victory over Taiwan's Lu Yen Sun and saw his route to the final open up. He had been due to play Federer in the semi-finals. This was a humbling defeat for Roger Federer, but he was far from alone on a day of slips and surprises that left falling seeds with limbs as bruised as their egos. And some of them chose to blame the most famous playing surface in sport. Maria Sharapova was clearly unhappy during her humbling defeat to Portuguese qualifier Michel Larcher de Brito. Afterwards, she was slightly more measured. Maria, the lip readers who've looked at the television pictures think that you said to Alison Hughes that this court is dangerous. Was that what you said to her? Well, after I, I buckled my knee three times, that's obviously my first reaction. Um, and, you're, and because I've just never fallen that many times in a match before. The volley of criticism began with world number two Victoria Azarenka, who took a bad fall in her first round match on Monday and after withdrawing, called on organisers to examine the state of the courts. A record seven players quit the men's and women's singles through injury, taking the total to ten in just three days. But is it really fair to blame the meticulously manicured lawns of SW19? I don't buy it. If you look at what Wimbledon do, if they bring in a new fertiliser, they try it on the outside practice courts, then they try it on the actual playing practice uh, outside courts, then they put it on centre court. It takes three years for that to happen. That is how they try everything to the nth degree. They are not leaving grass clippings, as one player suggested. They are not cutting the grass longer, as another player suggested. I mean, it's just unthinkable. The All England Club deny the courts are to blame for the high number of withdrawals and say the grass has been prepared in the same way as any other year. What is not in doubt is that the falls and withdrawals have left British fans dreaming that Andy Murray might be the last man standing next Sunday. Paul Kelso, Sky News.